Marcus Shorts of me. It's alright if we get 8 to 9. Just, but with this 10, it feels real good. It doesn't it feel good after all those double doubles and double doubles to finally get one to stop asking the police to <laughs> Yeah, I mean, but I feel it's just a longer team and it's just uh, the rebounds are more spread out for uh, this whole team. It's just every guy crashing. You know, last year I felt it was more me uh, having to get the rebounds for us to uh, win. But uh, this year is what do you think about Darius's dunk out there? Uh, yeah, I mean, I was front row for it again. I mean, I just think that's the thing. Wait till Terrence is there and then dunk it. <laughs> so, uh, uh, it was a great dunk. I mean, it was, um, just went over. What did it do for you guys emotionally? I mean, I just think it got uh, the crowd into it and just got us playing uh, a lot faster and just more, more energy. How good are you guys, Terrence? When you guys are making the threes, you got Anthony and the rest of you guys inside, and then you're making the threes. I mean, real good. I mean, that's what Deron and Darius do for our team: is make threes, and make shots, and, uh, spread out the zones when the teams go to that. And uh, Marcus does a good job executing the offense and uh, finding those dudes. And I try to myself. Their coach said that really the only guys who can stop you other than maybe foul trouble if it's you. Do you feel like you're that good? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think we got all the pieces um, and all the personnel to uh, have a great season. And I just think we're still getting better. What do you think about 50 straight home wins? I don't know if we uh, should get credit for all those. I know, <laughs> <laughs> I know uh, they had a season before us that uh, – they didn't lose at home either. So, I mean, just to keep it going and uh, not trying to lose at home is just a great thing to, to keep the, going. I'm sorry. The Ole Miss coach also compared you guys to the Vegas teams of the early 90s. They went to back-to-back -to -back, uh, Final Fours. They were undefeated until the Final Four in one of those years. Does those Vegas teams register with you at all? <laughs> what do they mean to you? And what do you think about you know, a coach going back 20 years to compare you guys to somebody? I mean, it's a great comparison uh, just because that was a great team. Um, I probably was five when they were playing, so I really don't know too much about how they were playing. If they went final four two years in a row, it sounds like they were pretty nice. You don't remember Grandma Mom? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you talk about born. Kyle's progress and, and what his improvement and his contributions mean to this team. Kyle wants to get better. Uh, that's why he came here. He's been working out before practice with us, and uh, he's been getting better on defense. Um, and, uh, he's just getting better, and uh, he's not a problem to come in the game, and it's not a defensive threat. And uh, he's just helping us. What what keeps you guys focused? And, it's like you guys are winning and winning comfortably, game after game. What what keeps your nose to the grindstone? I just think it's uh, how we respect every team we play and um, know uh, that they're going to usually give us their best shot and that any game, uh, if we don't bring it, we could lose. Do you feel like your role kind of changes game to game as far as whether you're a scorer or a rebounder? Or, mm -hmm. I mean, you know. I, mean I, I think it's like that for everyone on the team. I mean, whoever's got it going, uh, it's, it could be their night. Like, it was Kyle's night to score. Wasn't Mike's next game? Mike could go for 20, and Kyle could not have none, or Anthony could go for a big mount. I mean, it changes for everyone, every every game. What do you think it said that you guys, Anthony, got in foul trouble in the first half? Yet you guys, you know, weathered it and had a pretty good lead at halftime without uh, Yeah, I just think we just uh, tried to uh, lock down on defense and uh, keep uh, Henry from getting the M ones and. Uh, driving to the hole and just digging. Uh, we just wanted to stay down. We just to get some line by jumping and um, going in the air. And coach told us to stop doing that. So once we started doing that, we uh, spread it out a little bit more. Terrence, you may have already answered this, but you had 13 of them last year. Does it shock you to realize that this is your first double-double in this season? And, and do you feel like you're playing your best basketball right now? In the 
Yeah, I mean, uh, I said uh, the rebounds this year are more spread out just with uh, everyone so long and um, every guy going to crash with me, Mike, Anthony, Darius, and even Marcus getting seven rebounds some games. So last year, for me, it was more uh, if I didn't get it, we might lose the game. I just think it's not as much pressure on me to get it, and I can just box out whoever's the best rebound on the other team. If you guys didn't have, you know, Duran and or, or not Duran, I'm sorry, Anthony and you like scoring down low is real threats. How good a three-point shooting team you feel like it could be if that was even the focus of the team? Real good. I mean, Ron, Darius, Kyle, and even Marcus uh, really can shoot. And uh, with our penetration that we get from guards and uh, even myself, uh, it leads to wide open threes. And uh, a lot of teams play zone on this. And I just think our offense is perfect to get uh, wide open shots for the guys that need to shoot. For your sixth and seventh guys, you know, two guys coming off the bench to be the quality of Darius and Kyle over there and to be able to do what they did. I think they scored 16 straight points at one point in the first half. Um, how dangerous does that make you guys? I mean, Anthony's sitting there in foul trouble, not really really, really able to give you guys much, and still you're up almost double digits a time. Yeah, I mean, I think we got a deep team. You know, we can coach and go to a lot of guys. You know, a lot of guys have confidence to step in and um, fill that role that was just in. And, um, Kyle and Darius always do pretty much a good job. How much have you seen Kyle grow, especially maybe in these last few weeks? He says he's really kind of put in a lot of extra work and, and feels like it's coming together for him. Yeah, I mean, he's been going to practice an hour early, like working out with us, and uh, it's just improving and it's just showing in the games. Where's that, uh, where's Darius that's done crank him up? Some of the ones you've seen the last couple of years here. Top five, definitely, probably one. <laughs> Everybody. It was crazy just how he jumped over him. And he was just getting uh, talked to, talk to in a timeout. They've taken their first lead, I think, since it was 2-0 just before that uh, and really had the momentum. Can you kind of quantify when a play like that happens, that authoritative, that just sort of makes the whole building explode? I mean, what it does in terms of turning the game? I mean, it just gave us more energy, got the crowd more into it, and it makes the team just – feel, especially in this building, um, like it's, the whole game just shifted, <clears throat> and um, it just helps us, and uh, it just gets us a lot of energy and gets us going. Because you guys are near the bottom of 10 in the country in terms of getting fouls called on you guys, what is it that Coach is preaching to you guys to not collect so many fouls? I mean, whoever's on the ball, whoever's guarding the ball and driving, um, is really taught to uh, keep their hands up and not foul and let me and Anthony try to get to it, block it, and just stay down. So um, that's pretty much how we try to defend.